Hey, Catalina Foothills Church. This is Rob Penley. Good Tuesday morning. Um, this Sunday, we're going to be looking at Romans chapter 7. As a couple of days ago, John got us back into the book of Romans by finishing up chapter 6. And so chapter 7 starts like this. Or do you not know, brothers and sisters, for I am speaking to those who know the law, that the law is binding on a person only as long as he lives. For a married woman is bound by law to her husband while he lives, but if her husband dies, she is released from the law of marriage. Accordingly, she will be called an adulteress if she lives with another man while her husband is still alive. But if her husband dies, she is free from that law, and if she marries another man, she is not an adulteress. Likewise, my brothers and sisters, you also have died to the law through the body of Christ, so that you may belong to another, to him who has been raised from the dead, in order that we may bear fruit for God. For while we were living in the flesh, our sinful passions, aroused by the law, were at work in our members to bear fruit for death. But now we are released from the law, having died to that which held us captive, so that we serve in the new way of the Spirit and not in the old way of the written code. Okay, so Paul in chapter 7 is continuing the thought that in chapter 6 he's saying we died in Christ, we've been buried in Christ. And so this life of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is producing in us. Paul is now saying, you guys, before you were Christians, you were enslaved and to the law, but now you've been set free and you have a new master. Your new master is Christ and that you belong to him, to him who has been raised from the dead in order that we may bear fruit for God. So what Paul is beginning to try to help us see here is that God, by virtue of saving us in Jesus Christ, uniting us to Jesus Christ, he has, in a sense, bound us to this new way of serving. And it is a powerful new way. It is not the old way of the written code, but the new way of the Spirit. And it really is something to, we need to think about and talk about because the Christian who is animated by the Spirit of God experiences a freedom and a power that elbow grease and willpower can never match. And so we'll talk about what it means that God the Spirit now is animating us because we are united to Jesus Christ. And so we can look for a new way of serving according to the Spirit. Have a great day.